Thank you for your question. It's an excellent, excellent question because it's the reality of any victim of abuse, be it physical or psychological. Um, to summarize it in a few words for you, over the time when we are with an abuser, we are developing a list of things that we know we must not say words, sentences that we must not say in order to not trigger the person that is abusing us. And it could be words, it could be sentences that we would also say to buy some peace time and quiet time. So some things that I developed over time, I knew that he, my abuser liked. So when a I really needed a break. I knew what to do to buy some time and just have me an alone time, kind of. And I also had, that's what we say, a dictionary of words or things that I would never have to say, that we must not say, to not trigger any reactions. Because in my case, my ex was, uh, how you call it? Uh, he he was a germaphobe and he was a paranoid person and he had OCD as well, uh, which didn't help. Um, so a lot of things like, I don't know, we could I could say, I want to go just as simple as that. I want to go uh, biking, or do, do, just go on a bike ride with the kids. That was a problem because I would go alone and he needed to control everything. So that would trigger a, trigger a reaction. Oh, no, you're not going to go alone. Uh, you're going to have an accident. You're only going to go with me. Same to feed my child. Like I, I would say, I'm going to give him that today. No, you're not going to take. So I would have to not say it and just do it because I know it's safe. We know it's safe. We will do anything to, you know, save our children and to keep them safe. So I would not say some things to him in order to just not trigger anything. So that's why we say about uh, having a dictionary 24 seven, because that was the only way to survive in these kind of relationships. Hope it answers. And I really hope you're not in that situation and that you're not in an abusive situation, because if not, if yes, well, I'm here obviously. And if yes, I'm sorry, if you are in uh, an abusive relationship. Take care.